Hello everybody and welcome back to Oni Camo Gaming and today's video is about how I spent my Christmas repairing my PXN fight stick. My fight stick I got off of eBay for about 20 something dollars uh, about six seven months back and it was working fine and I love it and it's a great fight stick. I really have no complaints about it. I might change out the buttons eventually. I'm not a big fan of how they feel but other than that great fight stick. So I guess maybe I left it sitting in an awkward position for too long because it developed a short in that little extra rubbery piece that sits where the housing begins and ends. I had a hunch that's where the short was. I wasn't 100% sure. So the first thing I did was start clipping around and getting that little thingy out. I needed to get to every bare wire within the cord itself. So when I stripped down the cord, I found that all the wires were covered in a protective mesh. So I had to strip the protective mesh first, and then I would separate the colors very carefully. And I can't remember all of them, but you know, we definitely had black and white for the ground and positive, and we had red for the hot. And then there were a couple of other wires for signal wires. I don't have the appropriate tools and probably don't try this at home, especially without parent supervision. All I had on hand was a razor blade, and it's honestly not even a new razor blade. <laughs> This is dangerous, don't do this. Um, but I've been doing stuff like this since I was a kid, so I felt confident in doing this without hurting myself, and I did. I stripped the wires down without hurting myself. I found these forcep device at a yard sale or something. I forget where I found them, but I got them for dirt cheap. They're second hand. Awesome for stuff like this when you just need an extra hand. So I let the forceps hold on to the cord or a bunch of wires, let me single something out and manipulate it with my own hands and then start stripping stuff down. And eventually I'm gonna have to do the same thing to the cord on the other side where I had created the separation. I got to doing stuff like this with my stepfather, my stepdad, when I was about 12, 13 years old. Um, well, I guess to be honest, I was doing this a little bit earlier on my own, but damn near electrocuting myself every time. But when my stepdad came into my life and he noticed what I was getting up to, uh, he had some experience with this kind of thing. and. He um, gave me a pair of wire snips, but unfortunately, I think I still have those wire snips, but they're just worn out and they don't work anymore. What you should be using for a project like this, especially if this is your first time and you're not used to doing stuff like this, you really want to have wire snips and maybe these little forceps. Definitely get yourself a soldering iron and some electrical tape. That's all the stuff you really need for a job like this. All the stuff that I'm doing with the razor blade and like shaving towards myself, I really don't want to hear about people doing this. So at this point, I put a piece of aluminum foil down over the whole circuit board because I'm about to start, start soldering. And when I start soldering, there's a good chance there could be a little overflow or drippage that just falls down in the circuit board. Next thing you know, you have two contacts that weren't supposed to be contacted and connected, contacted and connected. Yeah, this is just a typical soldering job now. I'm just, all the colors are matched up. Everything's tied together. It looks like something may have fallen apart, but everything's tied together. And then I am moving the aluminum foil into place and the soldering iron and just applying a little bit of solder to make sure everything is contacted. If you've never soldered or welded or done anything where you've joined two little pieces of metal together, just know that a little bit goes a long way in some of these cases, especially with solder. You don't really need to just blob it on. Like as soon as you can contact the tip of the solder wire to the heat, it pretty much just gives immediately. So as soon as you got the solder giving, just pull it right back away and then let it cool. It only takes an instant to cool and then that should be fine. 
If you have any problems beyond that, you're probably going too heavy or too light, um, or you have some kind of solder that doesn't work for the job you're trying to do. You don't need a very thick gauge of solder for this kind of stuff. So now that everything's finally soldered together, I'm incorporating the masking tape to make sure all of these soldered together pieces don't contact each other when I have the wire completely joined back together and inside the housing. So finishing up the last red wires, contacting them, wrapping them up with a little masking tape, just has to be neat and tight enough to keep them from contacting one another. That's the main idea. It's okay that there's this little bit of bulb. No one's ever actually gonna see this bulb in the middle of the wire. Here I'm just toying with some ideas on how I would actually like to fit the wire inside the housing. And real quick, I just wrap everything up with tape and I bust out a hot glue gun. I didn't mention that I had a hot glue gun before, but if you have another way of sealing up the housing to keep from dust from getting in, then do that. But I had a hot glue gun laying around, so that's what I used. At this point, I'm pressing the back panel into the hot glue while it's still kind of warm and gooey, so it will take on the form and mold and fit together as uh, best as possible. It will probably be a pain to open this thing again in the future, but that's future me's problem. For now, we're done, so we just seal this up and test it out. Hey y'all, it's your boy Acidic. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you want to support the channel, that'd be mega awesome. Please hit up the Patreon. Any support would be appreciated. I'm trying to do my own thing. I'm trying to put up some videos, trying to be somewhat successful. So, take it easy.